What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute upper body and cardio workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's do it. What's up guys, welcome to your 40 minute upper body and cardio workout today. I'm so pumped to kick off August with you. If you haven't grabbed your calendar yet, that'll tell you every workout for the rest of the month, how long it is, what kind of workout it will be, and if you need dumbbells or not, make sure you head to the link in the description below. Another option that your calendar will be included in is the Sydney Squad membership, where we're diving into your nutrition. So for everyone that's sending kids back to school, for everyone who is a teacher, who's getting back to a normal routine of not being on summer break, this will be the perfect time for you to jump in and figure out what your normal nutrition can be for yourself, okay? Whatever works for you is what I'm all about, and I wanna teach you how to figure that out, okay? so. All of that is in the description below, as well as the push-up challenge that's included on your calendar and in the Sydney Squad. So if you're rocking your push-up challenge today, the whole entire purpose of that push-up challenge is that it's an additional challenge, but the progress is the goal. Okay, so any way that you start, doesn't matter where you're starting, it's just that you work hard to see progress, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into this workout. Big deep breath for me. There we go, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. We're gonna start with cross body arm swings in three, two, one, here we go. Let's keep your thumbs pointed up. There you go. Now this month is all about working like an athlete, okay? So I'm gonna keep you moving today. We're doing upper body isolation moves and then cardio as well. But for most of the moves, I'm gonna have you moving, all right? Being an athlete is being able to move fluidly, okay? Shift over to the right, let's go left arm, big backward circle. I'll provide modifications for all the cardio moves too, so if you need to slow it down or you need a little bit lower impact, I've got you. Three, two, switch directions with this arm, and let's go forward. One, swing it around to the other side and let's go backwards. Very excited that you're here today. Good job and switch directions, here we go. All right, come back to the front. I want you to pull your fingers back to your elbow on that right arm. Let's stretch out your forearms here a little bit. Good, and then flip your fingers over, pull them back up towards your elbow. Good, now give me some wrist circles on that arm. Just warm up the wrists. Other direction. Good job, same thing with the other side. Pull your fingertips down under your arm, back towards your elbow. Good, and now pull them back over top of your arm, again towards your elbow. And let's get some wrist circles going here. All right, jumping jacks, here we go. So cardio moves today are gonna be mixed in with the upper body moves. Okay, so we'll go upper body, then cardio, then upper body, then cardio all day today. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Okay, let's grab one dumbbell with just your left arm, okay? We're gonna go front raise, side raise, knee drive, okay? That knee drive is gonna happen as you lift out to the side. See, I'm gonna keep you moving all day today. This is what I mean, okay? We're gonna go for 45 seconds on this arm in three seconds, okay? So grab your dumbbell, let's go in two, one, here we go. Raise it to the front, side knee drive. Front, side knee drive. Now this helps you focus on your shoulder muscle while also focusing on your core and your balance. Okay. And I want you to try and not touch your leg in between going to the front and the side. Okay, 15 more seconds. Great job. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, one. 
and rest. Good. 15 seconds rest. I'm going to switch it over to the other arm. Same exact thing, okay? Front raise, side with a knee drive, all right? Here we go. In four. Big deep breath. Two, one, let's go. Front raise, side and knee drive. Think about taking your knee right up to your chest and getting your arm right out to shoulder height. Good job. Shoulders should be burning here a little bit. That's good. We're going to switch over to some cardio next. So give me all you've got here for about 15 more seconds. Keep it moving. Here we go. Eight seconds. Come on, lift, lift, lift. Let's go front and side one more time. Three, two, one. Rest for 15 seconds. And then we're going to go three rounds of 30 seconds. High knees, okay? First round, we're going to stay right here in the middle. Okay, if you need to modify, power march. All right, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Since the time is so short, I need you to give me your intensity. Great job. 15 seconds, let's go. Up, up, pump your arms. This is your first cardio move. Here you go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Good, we got 15 seconds. You can move side to side in your rest here. Now our high knees are gonna go lateral. Boom, 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 right here. Okay, five seconds. Get your arms and your legs going in two, one. Here we go. There you go, knees up. Keep your core tight, make sure you're not Leaning back, keep it here. Knees up to your hip. Here we go. You're doing great, you got 10 seconds left. Five, good job. Four, three, two, one. Last round of high knees, we're moving forwards and backwards. Okay, so you're going down the mat here, pushing it right back, okay? Here we go, four, three, and let's go. So I always tell you guys, from the beginning of the workout until the end, I want you going hard. So think about each minute, going as hard as you would your very last minute. 15 seconds. Perfect, come on. Four, three, two, one, 15 seconds rest, and you're gonna grab that same dumbbell, the lighter dumbbell, I'm using an eight pound here. Take it in your left hand. We're gonna start over on the right side. You're lifting up in a diagonal. Open your hand, come halfway down, okay? Go ahead and come with me. Up, halfway. Down, cross up, halfway down. So this is hitting posterior deltoid as you bring it across, okay? And then you've got bicep and shoulder as you lower it down here. Here you go, 20 seconds. That's it, your elbow is just a little bit rounded the whole time through this one. Down, lift high, and rest. Good job. All right, same thing on the other arm. 15 seconds rest, you got nine seconds now. Start across your body. Lift, open your hand to the ceiling, come halfway down. Ready, two, one, let's go. Keep your hips still so that it's all shoulder when you bring it across, so you're not flipping, okay? You're lowering, control the cross, control the lift. There you go, feel the difference? You keep everything still. Good, down, back of your shoulder brings it up. There you go, you might notice it feels a little bit tough. 
And that posterior deltoid is hard to target. So we're getting it stronger here, helping you move it better. You got seven seconds. Here you go, two, one, rest. Good job, and drop your dumbbell down. We're gonna go crisscross jacks, okay? Hands are out to the side, feet are out wide. You're gonna cross, cross, okay? Here we go in four. If you need to modify, just tap over, okay? Two, one, let's go. Perfect. Keep your arms kind of rounded here as well. So when you come out, it's kind of like you're hugging back in. 15, 14. And that way, you're using your chest muscles to pull back in. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Let's move down to the side. Same thing, moving lateral. Okay, so you can take your time on this one. Just crisscrossing and crisscrossing. Three, two, one. Let's go together. Here we go. Cross, cross. Perfect. 15 more seconds. You're doing great. Open cross, open cross. Seven, six. That's it. Three, two, one. Beautiful. We're going front to back now. Okay, we did side to side. We did the stationary. Now we got front to back. Okay, so come on back. Start out wide. Three, two, one. Cross. There you go. Any way that I ask you to move today, it might take you a couple seconds to figure it out, but you will. That's the goal. Move like an athlete. You're doing great. 10 seconds. Perfect, two, one, rest. Now give me a bicep curl weight. We're gonna go bicep curl and step. So hands are here in front of you. Curl and step. Together, step, together. Okay, same thing backwards. Step, together, step, together. All right, so grab your dumbbells. Let's go in seven seconds. Big deep breath for me. Five, four, two, one. Let's go. Curl and step at the same time. Lower and bring your feet together. Good job. Lots going on at one time, I know. Focus here though. You can look right down at your mat. Think pull and step, pull and step. That's it, 15 more seconds. Forces you to stay balanced, strong, tight in your core. Four, three, two, one, rest. Now I'm challenging you to bump it up. I'm gonna do the same thing too, same exact exercise, okay? Same thing, last round. As you pull up, you're stepping forward. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's do it. This also forces you to maintain control of that lowering portion, or the eccentric portion, portion. <laughs> the eccentric component, or eccentric portion, I just decided to combine those two words. There you go. Focus on the bicep curl as the priority here. The step is just an add-on. Good job, 10 more seconds, we can do it. Great job, four, Three, two, one, rest. Great job. Whew. All right, 15 seconds, and we're gonna go clap under skip. Okay, so you start here, here. If you can add a skip, little hop. Okay, 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Under, under. Once you get the hang of it, get a little quicker. There you go, 15 seconds. Awesome, get those knees up as high as you can. Six, five, four, two, one. Rest for 15. We're going side to side again, okay? Same thing you're doing, clap under, switching each time, okay? All right, ready for it? Two, one, let's go. Under, under. Side to side. Try to keep the pace that you're going. Don't slow down. Don't cross your feet. Up and up. Up and down. There you go. Again, if you're power marching, step, 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 step. Just keep that going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. One, rest, you know what's coming next. Front to back, same exact thing. Okay, so you're moving forward. Here, when you get here, just push it back. All right, come on back. Let's go together in three, two, one, let's go. Lift that foot up. Get it out away from your body. Knee high, foot out. Good job. 12 seconds. Come on. Up, up. Three, two, one, and rest. We're going for a tricep overhead extension. Okay? Taking that dumbbell up overhead, feet are together. You're gonna bend, extend, hop, hop. Okay? Bend, extend, hop, hop. Ready? Let's go ahead. Bend and push, little hop. If you don't wanna do the hop, if you feel unsafe, like you can't control it, tap out, tap out, okay? What I'm doing with this is making sure you're stabilizing your shoulders. So if I give you a little bit of movement, your shoulders have to work a little bit harder. 15 seconds. Keep the elbows tight. Good job. Four, three, two, one, rest. Now, can you bump it up? Let's try. Again, the hop is secondary. You focus on the tricep extension. If you feel good doing the hop, keep it. If you don't, give me a little tap or just focus on that tricep extension. Round two, ready? Let's go. Bend and straighten, hop or step, or just stay right there. It's your workout today. I want you to feel good. I want you to feel strong and confident. I also want you to challenge yourself. So whatever that looks like for you today, give me all you've got. Anyone else's triceps on fire? Woo! Yes, me too. 15 seconds. Nine, eight, five, whoo, three, two, one, and rest. Oh boy, that was a burner. Okay, we're going into lunge, switch jumps now, okay? Start with your feet together. You're gonna separate them, go halfway down, come back together. Okay, so here, together. Here, together. Ready? Let's go. You're going quickly. And if you want, just step, step. Okay, if you need to modify, just take that back foot back and keep it quick. Good job. Staying right here for seven, six, five. Good job. Three, two, one, rest. Coming down to the side. We're moving side to side. Now, keep alternating. You're going left, then right, then left, then right, okay? Five seconds. 
Three, two, one. Let's go. Now try to get a little lower. And if you want to step it up, take that middle hop out. You can do that too. Okay, it's your workout. We're in it together. 15. Make sure you're still getting low. Work in your arms. Seven more seconds, come on. Two, one, rest. You know the drill, front to back, okay? So we're splitting, moving forward. So start here, split, 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 push it back, okay? All right, two, one, let's go. If you wanna take that middle hop out, just keep pushing and pushing. There you go, 15 more seconds, come on. We're flying through this workout. You're doing amazing. That's it, three, two, one. Rest and grab some water if you need it. Your next move, lateral raises, just strict lateral raises. Here and down, okay? Let's go left and right in three, two, one. Here we go. You're breathing heavy. This is your chance to slow it down. With this alternating movement, we've got two rounds, so I can ask you to go a little heavier because one arm is resting all the time. Keep the arms a little bit bent, lifting those pinkies out high. 15 more seconds, you're doing great. Three. There you go, five seconds. Two, one, rest, good. Now, if you can go up, let's go. Okay, if your form was failing on that weight, don't go up, just perfect what you're doing right now, okay? Form over, over lifting heavier, right? <laughs> Two, one, let's go. A good form at a low weight is better than bad form at a high weight. As far as effectiveness goes, as far as muscular control, athleticism, you don't wanna be sloppy, you wanna be strong. Beautiful job. Keep your breathing going. Fifteen more seconds, you're doing great. There you go. Seven seconds. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Throw your dumbbells out of the way. Lateral raises and we're going right into lateral slides. Okay? So, one, two, tap. One, two, tap. Okay? Here we go, three seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, tap. I want you to tap down on each side. One, two. There you go. Just 30 seconds and you got 15 more. Eight, seven, six. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest, good job. No switching on this one, same thing for two more rounds, okay? So if you need to grab water, grab it. Just need to breathe like me, just breathe. Whew. Round number two in three, two, one, let's go. There you go. Stay moving, feet are quick. Not really a modification for this one other than just slowing it down, okay? Good job, six, five, four. And rest, good. Okay, one more round. Woo. Last round here, you're doing great. And then we're going to a little bit of back, 
back work. Two, one, let's go. All right, let's go a little quicker, a little lower. Here we go, 10. Come on, five, let's go, four, three, two, one, rest. Great job, we're going back flies. Woo. First round, no wait, we need two. First round, you're hinging here, going back, okay? Two, one, let's go. To modify, just do one arm at a time, back and back, okay? What I want you to notice is the squeeze at the top of each rep. There you go. Good, 10 more seconds. That's it, seven, six. You're almost there. Four, three, can you give me one more? Two, one, rest. Woo! All right. Ah, good job. Back fly, one more round. If you can go up, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna go up as well. Focus on your form. Squeezing those shoulder blades. Let's go. And something else to think of, controlling the way back down. Concentric, eccentric. Make sure the eccentric isn't just a totally let go and release. Good job. 15 more seconds to give me really good squeezes. Really good lift and really good lower. That's perfect. Seven, six. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, back to the cardio. We did back flies. Now we're gonna throw some back pedal in there, okay? I want you to get me one forward jump, back pedal back. And if it takes you two jumps to get down to the end, give me two, okay? Two, one, let's go. Land softly, backwards. Land soft. Good job. Perfect, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Water if you need it. Two more rounds of the same thing. All right, Whew. I know, I'm with you. Let's go, two, one, here we go. Like I said, if it takes you two hops to get down there, perfect, just push backwards. Okay, or if you cannot hop, big step, push it back. Okay? There you go. Six, five, two, one, rest. One more time. You're doing great, we're keeping it the same. All three rounds here. Okay, one more round, back it up, let's go. In three, two, here we go. I'm with you. Use your arms, don't forget when you land, swing back, let your arms go where your body wants to go, which is forward. 15 seconds. Perfect, seven seconds, come on. Rest, good job. Take one of your heaviest dumbbells, come down onto your hands and knees. We've got left arm bent row, right here, okay? Whew. So grab your dumbbell, 
We're going in two, one, right here for 45 seconds. If you want to get the lat engaged a little more, put your dumbbell up further from your body, pull back to your hip. In all rows, make sure your hips are not swinging, your core is tight. Beautiful job, give me 15 more seconds, okay? That's it. Come on, strong arms, strong back. Two, one, rest, and switch sides. Same exact thing. Almost there, guys. You guys are cruising through this workout. You're doing great. Okay, same thing, other arm. Two, one, all right, let's get it. Also make sure you're not, when you start to row, shifting your hips back and forth. Okay, keep everything still except for that arm and that shoulder blade. I like to put my hand in the middle, right under my chest or my chin, to make sure I'm not swiveling any. 15 seconds, come on. Six, five, one more with me. Two, one, rest. You're gonna move that dumbbell out of the way. Stay here for your cardio, okay? First one, we've got plank jacks. Up on your hands, in and out, right here, okay? Let's go in four. Three, two, one, here we go, plank jacks. If you need to modify, tap out one foot, tap out the other. Just keep those hips steady and low. I know this is working your arms too. It's upper body day, that's intentional. 14, 13. Breathe. Come on, eight, seven. Three, Two, one, stay here. Your next move is gonna be a plank pike. Same position, only you're hopping up and back, up, back. To modify, step up, step back, okay? Two, one, let's go. Come all the way back into a plank each time. Make sure you're not just staying butt in the air. You flatten. And pop, flat, pop. Don't let your back arch. Seven more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Last one, we're combining the two. Plank jack, plank pike. Looks like this. We're going out and up, out and up. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Combo of the two. Out, up, together. Out, together, up, together. Come on, you're strong. We've got this, 15 more seconds. 10, nine, go, 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 don't slow down. Five, four. Three, two, one, rest. We're going into hammer curls. Two on the right, two on the left. Okay, grab your dumbbells. One, two right here, and then one, two on the other arm. Ready? Whew. Two, one, let's go. Two and two. Focus on the squeeze and the breathe. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, there we go. Five, four, 
Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Same thing, one more time. Yes, I'm gonna challenge you to go up. Yes, I think you can. Okay, let's go. Grab that heavier dumbbell. We're going in four seconds. Three, two, one, let's push ourselves. Here we go. You'll never know unless you try. And if you can get three with this weight and you gotta drop down, that's three that you did with the heavy weight and that'll get better. You'll never know unless you try. Same thing with me and the streamies. I know we're working out right now, but I can apply these same lessons. I do apply these same lessons to my own life. You'll never know unless you go for it. Nine, eight. That's it, come on. Three, two, one. Beautiful job, let's rest. 15 seconds, throw your dumbbells up. We're going for a donkey kick and a hand clap. Watch closely. Hands are down, butt is in the air. You've got the option of two feet or one foot, one foot. And then you're gonna rock back, clap. Okay, ready? Let's go. Donkey kick, clap. If you're butt kicking, one, two, clap right behind your tailbone here. Either way you're working, two feet together or one foot at a time, rock it back and clap. Nine, eight. There you go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Woo. One more round of 45, and then we've got one more round of strength and cardio combo, okay? We're almost there. Okay, five seconds, we've got a 45 second one here. I know it's longer than our normal, but the last two, we're gonna crush it. Let's go. There you go. Come on, 30 seconds, you're done with this move. Come on, 12, 11, kick, and touch those fingertips. You're right there. Two, one, and rest. Whew. We've got one minute of this last one, okay? We're gonna go bent arm raise, Whew. squat jump, okay? So we're starting out wide here. We're gonna go bent arm raise, sit, jump. Bent arm raise, sit, Jump, okay, keeping your dumbbells right here. Three, two, one, for one minute, let's go. If you can't jump, just give me a squat. Thirty seconds, I'll tell you when we get there, if you wanna bump up the weights. You know I'm gonna ask you to. That's it. All right, 30 seconds in. Can you bump your weights up? If yes, grab them, switch, and keep going. This is it, right here. You got 15. Come on, seven, six. Four, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. Throw those dumbbells down. Have a seat on your butt. Whew. Legs are out straight. We gotta cool down. Pull this left knee up. Cross your foot over your right leg. Swing it over to the left side. Whew. And breathe for just a second, okay? All right, so now stay with me. We're gonna move here. Mobility, cool down, okay? Switch over to the other leg. I want you guys to be able to move well this month. Okay, take both your legs out straight. Hands down, flip it over, 
lift into a pike. Now we're gonna roll, spinal roll. So lift your tailbone, roll to a plank. Drop down. Lift your tailbone again, roll to a pike. Here we go. Down, down, down. Drop your hips. Up, up, up. Press your heels down. 10 more seconds of this. Take your time. Tailbone up, reach back. And on your last one, I want you to come down, leave your hips here. Okay, release your feet. Let's look left, look right. Look left and right. There you go. Come back to your hands and knees. Widen your knees out just a little. Reach left and right. Left over, right over. Good job. And come back to the middle, hands and knees again. Tuck your toes, lift your tailbone, walk your feet to your hands. Grab your fingertips together, push towards the floor as you lift your spine up, and lift your hands up overhead. There you go, reach over and over. There you go. Two, one, come back to the middle. Press up and open your shoulder blades out to the side. Give it a little wiggle. Big deep breath in. And exhale. And I want you to immediately go grab some water. Go make sure you have food prepped for yourself to refuel. We just depleted a lot of your energy stores that you had consumed either this morning or throughout the day. So right about now you need some good nutrients to repair those muscles that are working so hard for you. Muscle anatomy, your muscles are like this little striations. As we work out and as we do strength training, they create little micro tears, okay? So there are some tears in here, not major, but minor that we need to repair with nutrition, with recovery. That's why I'm pre preaching this month, mobility is a big part of this, recovery is a big part of this. I want you to actively seek out good food, nutrient dense food, not processed food. Okay, things that have lower than five ingredients in them because that's gonna be the quick fuel for your body to repair those tears and to see those muscle developments happen. To maintain your lean muscle mass, if you're working on losing weight, you've gotta make sure you lose weight that's body fat for the majority and not your lean muscle mass, okay? A little bit will come off, but I wanna hold on to and maintain as much as I can and we're only gonna do that by recovery and nutrition. Actively seek out a foam roller, actively seek out stretching three days a week outside of your workouts. Your body needs it to perform, to be able to come back feeling better and not more sore or more tired or anything like that, okay? And on that rest day, take the rest day. Every week I put up a stretch. I don't do any workout at all. Maybe I'll walk around with my dog. Maybe I'll go to a yoga or stretch class, but I do not work out on at least one day a week. Okay, your body needs that, and it's gonna tell you that it needs that. After you go so long without recovering, you're gonna find that you cannot recover anymore, and every workout you're showing up sore or tired. That's your body not getting the recovery or the nutrients that it needs, all right? So, get those nutrient-dense foods in. Figure out how much of them you need to make sure you're doing the right things for your body. If you're not sure about that, join the Sydney Squad. That's where I do all of my nutritional coaching, okay? I'm gonna give you guidance to help you reach your goals, but you gotta make sure you're taking care of your body Number one, okay? Have those nutrients, shoot out to your muscles, repair them, let's get stronger together, and let's be able to move this month like an athlete and perform and function like an athlete. Coming back tomorrow, ready for more, okay? Check out the Sydney Squad below if you're interested in that, and if you don't have a Facebook, if you're not interested in that membership community, check out the calendar. That'll at least allow you to know what's coming. So if you're going to travel, if you're going out of town over the weekend, or you wanna know how early to get up the next day, whether you need to get your dumbbells out or not, that calendar is gonna be perfect for you, okay? Make sure you take advantage. We're gonna rock this month of August, guys. I'm so excited, as you can tell. Pretty sure it's gonna be my favorite month, but let's rock it together. I'm so proud of you for being here. Let's keep showing up. Let's keep doing the things that make you feel, perform the best you can, because you deserve it, all right? See you tomorrow, athletes. Bye, guys.